Shirupam sagrajatam saganaragunatam bitam tam sajivam sadvaitam sabadutam parijana saitam krishna chaitanya devam shirana krishna paran sahagana lalita shiva shikam vidam sya omagyana timaranda shagyana jana shalakaya chakshuran manitam yena tasmai shigurabe nama gurva bistam supurakam gurganara sisha sambushitam Chintya Chintya Samastaveda Nipanam Shri Rupa Patanugam Govinda Abhidam Ujvalam Bharatanum Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Mande Vishwakurun Shah Dibyat Bhagavat Prem Navi Bijapradam Devam Dibyat Tanum Suchanda Bharanam Balarka Chelan Shitam Sandrananda Puram Sadeka Bharanam Vairagya Vidyambudim Sri Siddhanta Nidim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Baram Banditam Shubaram Manekasharanam Nyashishvara Shidaram Bancha Kopata Rubya Sakripa Sindhu Vyavicha Patita Nam Pavinibyo Vaishnavi Bhunamonama Namo Mahabananyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gona Tavisha Nama so we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Translation and commentary by Srila Prabhupada. This is um, Madhya Lila chapter 12, the cleansing of the Gundicha temple. And today is the Gundicha margin. So this chapter came right when we're on Gundicha margin day. And this chapter is a beautiful chapter. Shri Gundicha Mandiram Atma Brindai Samarjayan Shalanatha Sagora Svachitavats Chitalam Ujvalam Cha Krishno Paveshyo Paikam Jakara Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu washed and cleansed the Gundicha temple with his devotees and associates. In this way, he made it as cool and bright as his own heart, and thus he made the temple a befitting place for Lord Sri Krishna to sit. Jaya Jaya Gora Chandra Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vrinda All glories to Gora Chandra, all glories to Sri Nityananda Prabhu, all glories to Advaita Chandra, and all glories to the devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Jaya Jaya Sri Basadi Gora Bhakta Gan Shakti Deho Kori Jena Chaitanya Barnan all glories to the devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, headed by Sri Thakur. I beg their power so that I can properly describe Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Purbe dakina hoite prabhu jabe aila, tarimilite gajapati utkantita hoila. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu returned from his South Indian tour, Maharaj Pratra Parudra, the king of Orissa, became very anxious to meet him. But a charya likila prabur agyana hoila punarabi rajatari patri patailab. Replying to the king's letter, the Bhattacharya wrote that Mahaprabhu had not given his permission. After this, the king wrote him another letter. Oh, this is, all this is very nice. Prabhura nikati ache jata bhaktagan moralagi tasabare koriyanibidan. In this letter, the king requested Sarvabhom Bhattacharya, please appeal to all the devotees associated with Mahaprabhu and submit this petition to him on my behalf. Say sub doyalu more hoyas, sadai moralagi prabhupane koribe vinoi. If all the devotees associated with the Lord are favorably disposed toward me, they can submit my petition at the lotus feet of the Lord. Tasabar prasadi mili shri prabhurabai prabhu kripa vina mora rajana hibai. <clears throat> By the mercy of all the devotees, one can attain the shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord. Without his mercy, my kingdom does not appeal to me. Jadi more kripana koribe gorahari raja chadi jogi hoi hoi bikari. If gorahari, Lord Chaitanya, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, will not show mercy to me, I shall give up my kingdom, become 
a yogi, a mendicant, and beg from door to door. Bhattacharya Patrideki Chindita Hoya Bhaktagan Pashagela Se Patri Loya. When the Bhattacharya received this letter, he became very anxious. He then took the letter and went to the devotees of the Lord. So the king is saying, if Mahaprabhu won't give me his darshan, then I don't really want to be the king anymore. I'll give up my whole kingdom and I'll become a yogi mendicant and I'll just go begging door to door. Sabare miliya kohila raja bibaran piche se patri sabare korela koraila darshan sarvabom bhattacharya met with all the devotees and described the king's wishes. Then he presented the letter to all of them for inspection. Patri deki sabar mani hoila bishmoi prabhupadi gajapatir eta bhakti hoi. Upon reading the letter, everyone was astonished to see that King Pratraparudra had so much devotion for the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sabhi kohe prabhu tari kabu na milibe ami sab kohe jari duka se mani be. The devotees gave their opinion and said, The Lord will never meet the king. And if we requested him to do so, the Lord would surely feel very unhappy. Sarva moma kohe sabi chale ek bar milite na kohiba kohiba rajab yamahar sarva bom bhattacharya then said, We shall go once again to the Lord, but we shall not request him to meet the king. Rather, we shall simply describe the good behavior of the king. Eta bole sabe gela mahaprabhu stane kohite unmuka sabe na kohe banchane. Having thus reached a decision, they all went to the place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There, although ready to speak, they could not even utter a word. Prabhu kohe ki kohite sabar agaman dekie kohite chahana kaha ki karan. After they arrived at Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's place, the Lord seeing them said, what have you all come here to say? I see that you want to say something, but you do not speak. What is the reason? Nityananda kohe tomai chahi nibedite na kohile rohite nari kohite bai chite. So then Nityananda speaks, and he will embellish in his own way what the king has said in the letter. Nityananda Prabhu then said, We want to tell you something. Although we cannot stay without speaking, we are still very much afraid to speak. Jog joga yogya tomai sabha chahi nivedite tomana milite raja chahe jogi hoite. We want to submit something before you. We want to submit before you something that may or may not be befitting. The matter is this unless he meets you, the king of Arissa will become a yogi, a mendicant. Kani mudra loe mui hoiba bikari raja boga nahi chite bina gorahari. Nityananda Prabhu continued, The king has decided to become a mendicant, a yogi, <coughs> and accept the sign of a yogi by wearing an ivory earring. He does not want to enjoy his kingdom without seeing the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In India, there are still class of professional mendicants who are very much like gypsies of Western countries. They know some magical art and mystical processes, and their business is to beg from door to door, sometimes pleading and sometimes threatening. Such mendicants are sometimes called yogis and sometimes kanafata yogis. The word kanafata refers to one who has put a hole in his ear to wear an earring made of ivory. Maharaj Pratraparudra was so depressed by not getting to see Mahaprabhu that he decided to become such a yogi. Ordinary, ordinary men think that the yogi must have an ivory earring in his ear. But this is not the sign of a real yogi. Maharaj Pratraparudra also thought to become a mendicant yogi, one must wear such an earring. Well, this is also Nityananda Prabhu embellishing the king's position a little bit. Do you have an ivory earring for your ear? <laughs> not yet. Dekiva Semuka. Yeah. Dekiva se mukha chandra nayana bariya dariva se parapadma ridaye tulia. Nityananda Prabhu continued. The king also expressed his desire to see the moonlike face of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to his eyes full satisfaction. He would like to raise the lotus feet of the Lord to his heart. Mm. 
then it goes on. Jajapi Shudiya Prabhur Komala Hoiman Tatapi Bahire Kohi Nishtura Bachan. Hearing all these statements, Mahaprabhu's mind was certainly softened, but externally he wished to speak some harsh words. So, by divine arrangement, Maharaj, today's reading, what natural flow. Yeah, both come on the same day. <laughs> but now we're starting with a letter of the king of Orissa, Maharaj Pratraparudra, saying that if Mahaprabhu won't meet with me, then I wish to give up my kingdom and become a yogi. And so then the devotees all decided to go to Mahaprabhu and speak about this, but when they get there, they all sit there and they want to speak, but nobody will say anything. Then the Lord says, well, I see you want to say something, but you're not saying anything, so what is it? Then Nityananda Prabhu starts, but he embellishes in his own way. He says, the king says, if you don't meet with him, then he'll become a kanafata yogi, and he'll wear, put an ivory earring in his ear and go begging from door to door. And he'll, and, but he wants to take the lot your lotus feet and put them on his heart. And this is the way Nityananda Prabhu was describing it. Hearing all these statements, Mahaprabhu's mind was certainly softened. But externally, he wished to speak some harsh words. Tomasabaricha eya mare loya rajake milaha ihan kataketi giya. Mahaprabhu said, I can understand that you all desire to take me to Katak to see the king. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is naturally the reservoir of all kindness, and as soon as he heard the statement made by the king, his heart immediately softened. Thus the Lord was ready to go see the king, even at Katak. Well, you know, but he's speaking some strong words here. He did not even consider allowing the king, the, allowing the king to come from Katak to Jagannathpur to see him. It is significant that Mahaprabhu was so kind that he was ready to go see the king at Katak. Apparently it was never expected that the king wanted to see the Lord at his place, but by way of being externally harsh, the Lord indicated that if all the devotees so desired, he would go to Kadak to see the king. So Marbo is saying, I see that you're all inclined towards the king, and you want to take me to Kadak to see him. Or the king is like, Paramartha Thakur Loke Koribe Nidan Loke Raha Damodar Koribe Bartsan. Mahaprabhu continued, What to speak of spiritual advancement? All the people will blaspheme me. And what to speak of all the people, Damodar would chastise me. Because Damodar pondered, he's, he has this habit of, you know, he tries to advise the Lord very strongly. Like some helpful devotees will also do that with us. They'll tell us, oh, you must do this and you must do that. So like Damodar Pandit would try to, Help the Lord. And the interesting about Damodar Pandit that it says in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, he would advise Mahaprabhu about social etiquette, about matters that he himself didn't care a fig for. But he would ask Mahaprabhu to follow that etiquette. So, you know, and Mahaprabhu would said, he doesn't even care about some of the things he advises me on, but he stands with a stick at my door, you know, to advise me on these matters. So, so Mahaprabhu said, what to speak of spiritual advancement? All the pe if I meet with the king, all the people will blaspheme me. And what to speak of all the people, Damodar would chastise me. Tomasabar agaya amina mili rajare damodara kohe jabe mili tabetare. I shall not meet the king at the request of all the I shall not meet the king at the request of all the devotees. But I shall do so if Damodar will give his permission. <laughs> what do you think? Well, is Damodar critical of the Lord sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> Mahaprabhu says, I, if all the devotees advise me to meet the king, I will not meet the king. But if Damodar says that I should do it. Damodar kohe tumi svatandri shwar. Kartavya, Kartavya sab, Tomara gochar. Damodar immediately replied, My Lord, you are the fully independent supreme personality of God. Since everything is known to you, you know what is permissible and what is not permissible. Ami kun kudrajib, tomake bididiba, apane milibetare taho dekiba. Mm -hmm. 
I am merely an insignificant jeev, jiva soul. I'm simply an insignificant jiva soul. So what power do I have to give directions to you by your own personal choice? You will meet with the king. I shall see it. Raja tomare sneho kore tumi sneho bas taras nehe korabe tare tomara parash. The king is very much attached to you, and you are feeling affection and love toward him. Thus I can understand that by virtue of the king's affection for you, you will meet him. Jajapi Ishwara Tumi Paramaswatandra Tatapi Swabhavihau Prima Paratandra. Although you are the Supreme Lord himself and are completely independent, still you are dependent on the love and affection of your devotees. That is your nature. Nityananda kohe ache hoi konjan jetomar jetomare kohe kora raj raja darshan Nityananda Prabhu then said who is there in the three worlds who can ask you to see the king so underlying this gundicha margin and all these things is this underlying current going on for chapters about Maharaj Pratra Parudra's desperation to meet with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And the Mahaprabhu is saying, I don't want to meet a king. The king is the richest man, the center, he's a supreme Vishayi, he's a supreme materialist, and I don't want to meet with a materialistic person that people will criticize me. It's not my position to meet with a king. And, then, and, and said that even in dreams, Mahaprabhu will not meet with a king. And Nityananda Kohe, Nityananda then said, Who is there in the three worlds who can ask you to see the king? Nityananda Kohe, Anche, Kon, Hoi, Kon, Jan, Jetomara, Kohe, Kora, Raja, Darshan, Kintu, Anurage, Loker, Swabave, Khoi, Ishtana, Paile, Nija, Pranana, Chadoi. Still, isn't it the nature of an attached man to give up his life if he does not attain? his desired object. Okay. Is it the nature of an attached man to give up his life if he cannot attain his desired object? Now, sometimes we know it's difficult. We're reading the, the, the reading the book and we're reading Bengali and English and sometimes it may appear that we're reading a foreign language that people don't understand. But you can all take solace in the fact that I don't pronounce the Bengali properly anyway. So. It's not really a foreign language. <laughs> okay. Jagyaki Brahmani Sab Tahate Praman Krishna Lagi Patiagi Chadileka Pran. For instance, some of the wives of the Brahmins who were perfect performing sacrifices gave up their lives in the presence of their husbands for the sake of Krishna. This refers to the day Krishna and his cowherd boys and flocks of an, flocks of cows, not flocks of it says flocks of animals. We mean herds of cows were present in the pasturing ground near, near Mathura. Flocks refer to sheep. Mahaprabhu is not herding sheep; he's herding cows. We're not even herding him; he's taking the cows to pasture. So they're in the pasturing grounds near Mathura. At that time, the cowherd boys, being a little hungry, requested food, and Lord Krishna asked them to go to the Brahmins who were engaged nearby and perform a yagya or sacrifice and to get some food from that yagya. Being so ordered by the Lord, all the cowherd boys went to the Brahmins and asked them for food, but they were denied. After this, the cowherd boys begged food from the wives of the Brahmins. All these wives were very much attached to Krishna in spontaneous love, and as soon as they heard the request that of the cowherd boys and understood that Krishna wanted some food, they immediately left the place of sacrifice. They were very much chastised for this by their husbands, and they were ready to give up their lives. This is the nature of a devotee to sacrifice one's life for this loving service of the Lord. So, okay. For instance, some of the wives of the Brahmins who were performing sacrifices gave up their lives in the presence of their husbands for the sake of Krishna. So when they were restrained, some of them went, gave up their, they performed some in yogic meditation. They left their bodies behind and went to Krishna. 
एक जुगतिया चे जड़े घोरा अवधान तुमिना मिली ले हा तारे राहे तारे प्राण Nityananda Prabhu then submitted one suggestion for the Lord's consideration. There is a way, he suggested, by which you need not meet the king, but which would enable the king to continue living. Ek bahirvas jari deho kripakori tahapaya prana rake tomara ashadori. If you, out of your mercy, send one of your Bahirvas, like a sannyas dodi, right? You would say? If you would send one of your outer garments, that's what Bahirvas means, but it really means a sannyas dodi. If you, by out of your mercy, send one of your outer garments to the king, the king would live hoping to see you sometime in the future. So he gets the, he'll get the cloth from Mahaprabhu, and that will be as like the Lord. It will be prasadam. He'll get some great satisfaction from that. Prabhu kohe tumi sab parama vidvan je balo hoy se ghora samadhan. The Lord said, the Lord said, since you are all very learned personalities, whatever you decide, I shall accept. Tabi nityananda gosai govindera pash magiya loyla prabhu ek bahirvas. Sri Nityananda Prabhu then obtained uh, bahirvas, uh, like a sanyas dhoti, used by the Lord by requesting it from Govinda. Mahaprabhu servant. Se Bahirva Sarva Boma Pashadila Sarva Boma Se Bastra Rajare Patala. Thus Nityananda Prabhu delivered the old cloth into the care of Sarva Boma Bhattacharya and Sarva Boma Bhattacharya sent it to the king. Bastra Paya Rajar Hoyla Nandita Man Prabhu Rupa Kori Kore Bastra Pujan. When the king received the old cloth, he began to worship it exactly as he would worship the Lord personally. Ramananda Roy Jabe Dakina Hoite Aila Prabhu Sangi Rohite Rajake Nibe Dila. After returning from his service in South India, Ramananda Roy requested the king to allow him to remain with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So I'll be going on, but our program will start tonight. And the, and I, today is Gundicha Marj, and we'll start with that, but this is a wonderful chapter. If people will hear this, you know, in the succeeding days, it's very nice because it tells you how to clean your own heart. Cleans will tell you how to clean your own heart, and that's the nature of it. Actually, Gundicha Marj is about cleansing the temple of Gundicha, and we use it also for understanding the importance of cleansing the temple here and cleansing all the surrounding grounds of the temple because that's what Mahaprabhu did during Gundicha Marja. And it's described by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur as meeting the Lord in one's heart by cleansing one's heart of all unwanted things and making the heart suitable for receiving the Lord. So it's a very wonderful chapter. One of my, actually one of my favorites. And, you know, if you read the purports, then it gets really kind of to literally nitpicking, right? Would you say? Because, what is it? Kuti hati, and what is the word? Picking all these things out of your heart. And, and it describes each one of these straws as like a different quality, material quality that you want to eliminate. Like, like himsa, violence. Uh, another is like fault finding, finding fault with the devotees. Uh, other is, you know, Maharaj, you can say some, some of the other qualities, right? Violence, fault-finding the devotees, uh, what else? Shidachar, uh, forbidden behavior, kutilati, being excessively preoccupied with formality. Yeah, desire love for Pratista means literally being <coughs> greedy for fame, name and fame. Sometimes expressed as Guru Abhiman. That I'm a big, important guru sitting on a big seat. 
That's Guru Abhiman, right? Is it? Can be. Okay, so we'll go on. After returning from his service in South India, Ramananda Roy requested the king to allow him to remain with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So one has to take so many things out of one's heart. Why? Because the Lord's already in one, one's heart. The Lord's in everyone's heart. But if your heart is so dirty, you, can't, you won't get his darshan. You know, it's not a proper place to receive the Lord. Like going into a dirty temple. Now that was one of the things my mother said when she, I was in India. I was in India for five years. I didn't return home and my mother lived near Los Angeles. So she went to the temple in Los Angeles of Iskon and she wrote me anything because she didn't know too much about devotional service. So she went to the temple and they told her and my father, oh, you can meet Srila Prabhupada. So they waited and they met Srila Prabhupada in the temple. And then my mother wrote me and Srila Prabhupada asked them, asked them, does your son's ears, he told them, are you French? And they said, no. And he says, because your son speaks fluid French. Because I had gone from the Paris temple to India. He said, oh, because he speaks fluent French. I don't speak a, hardly a word of French, but <laughs> I speak Spanish, but anyway. But he asked them that. Then they, they wrote me back. They wrote me and they said, any place that's as clean as, like the Los Angeles Temple was very, was very clean, marble and clean. Any place that's as clean as this, we're in favor of that. <laughs> Now that's not a commentary on me, but that's just, they said they were very, cleanliness is next to godliness. So they liked, they liked the temple for that reason. So Gundicha Marja, cleansing the temple, this is very, very nice. Everybody will appreciate the quality of properly receiving the Lord. You know. Different. When I first went to Nabadeep, I thought you weren't supposed to harm any living entity. So in my room, ceilings were covered with spider webs. And I thought, oh, this is the domain of the spiders. They're all dambasis. You can't harm them or take away their webs. And on the walls, there were ticky lizards that would eat little bugs that would land near the lights. And on the floor, anything that fell to the floor, all of a sudden, great armies of ants would suddenly appear for the fallen insect and they cart it away. So it was like, it was like um, in my room, it was like seeing the three w material worlds. There was, <laughs> there was the upper world of the, of the spiders who would wrap up insects in spider webs on the walls or where the middle plane was the ticky lizards <laughs> and on the floors were the ants taking away things. And I went, I didn't clean anything. Be, because I was thinking, oh, you can't harm Dom Bossy's living entities in the Dom. But then later somebody told me, no, you can keep your room clean. So, you know, okay, then we took out all those things. But the first was my first impression, wrong impression. But this, temp this chapter tells you you should keep, you know, you know. And after you die, you should keep your grave clean also. Uh, bad remark, okay. After returning from his service to South India, in South India, Ramananda Roy requested the king to allow him to remain with Mahaprabhu. Tabe Raja Santoshe Tahare Agyadila Apani Milana Lage Shadite Lagila. When Ramananda Roy requested the king to allow him to stay with the Lord, the king immediately gave him permission with great satisfaction. As for the king himself, he began to solicit Ramananda Roy to make a meeting arrangement. Mahaprabhu ma kripa korana tomare more milibari abasha shadibe tahare. The king told Ramananda Roy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is very, very merciful to you. Therefore, please solicit my meeting with him without fail. Okay. 
Exange dui jan ketre jabe aila, Ramananda Roy tabe prabure milila. The king and Ramananda Roy returned together to Jagannath Puri. And Sri Ramananda Roy met Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Prabhu pari prima bhakti janai lao rajar, prasanga paya aiche kohe barabar. At that time, Ramananda Roy informed Mahaprabhu about the ecstatic love of the king. Indeed, as soon as there was some opportunity, he repeatedly informed the Lord about the king. Okay. Raja Mantri Ramananda Bhyabhare Nipuna Raja Priti Kohe Dravaila Prabhurman. Sri Ramananda Roy was indeed a diplomatic minister for the king. His general behavior was very expert. And simply by describing the king's love for Mahaprabhu, he gradually softened the Lord's mind. He softened the Lord's heart by describing uh, the king's love for Mahaprabhu. Utkantate prataparudra nare rahimare ramananda shodilena prabhore milibare maharaj prataparudra in great anxiety could not endure not seeing the Lord. Therefore, Sri Ramananda Roy, by his diplomacy, arranged a meeting with the Lord for the king. Ramananda Prabhu Pai Koila Nibedan Ek Bar Prataparudre Dekaha Charan. Sri Ramananda Roy frankly requested Ma Prabhu, please show your lotus feet to the king at least once. Prabhu Kohe Ramananda Kaha Bicharya Raja Ke Milite Jujai Sanyasi Haya. Mahaprabhu replied, My dear Ramananda, you should make this request after du duly considering whether it is befitting for sannyasi to meet a king. Rajara Milane Bikukar Dui Lokanash Paraloka Rahuloke Kore Upahas. If a mendicant meets a king, this world and the next world are both destroyed for the mendicant. And Indeed, what is there to say of the next world? In this world, people will joke if a sannyasi meets a king. Ramananda kohe tumi ishwara satantra karir tomar bai tumi naha paratantra. Ramananda Roy replied, My Lord, you are the supreme independent personality. You have nothing to fear from anyone because you are not dependent on anyone. Prabhu kohe ami manusha ashrame Sanyasi Kayo Mano Bhakke Vyabhare Bhayabhashi When Ramananda Roy addressed Mahaprabhu as the Lord himself, Mahaprabhu objected, saying, I am not the Lord, but an ordinary human being. Therefore, I must fear public opinion in three ways, with my body, mind, and words. So Mahaprabhu is the Lord, but he doesn't present himself that way. He, and he's already shown himself, his divine form to Ramananda Roy. But he says, when Ramananda Roy says, you don't have anything to fear because you're the Lord himself. What do you need to fear anyone's opinion? He says, no, I'm not the Lord. I'm a person, you know, and I have to fear public opinion. I have to feel, fear what people think by my body, mind and words, you know, because I'm not going to do something that will destroy my preaching mission. And I do not consider it appropriate to meet with a king. That's what he's saying in essence. Shukla Bastre, would you agree with that? Yep. So Mahaprabhu always shows himself to be a person in this world, although he's the Lord himself. He's taking the form of a devotee to show us and also be the perfect devotee because he's taken the mood of, of Srimati Radharani. He's, but he's... Shukla Bastre Mashi Bindu Jaichena Lukai Sanyasira Alpa Chidra Sarva Lokigai. But actually, that's not completely correct. The more correct thing to say would be to say that Mahaprabhu shows the perfect activity of an Acharya. That's what, that's what Srila Guru Maharaj and Srila Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur state. Mahaprabhu's behavior is that of the perfect Acharya. Not Krishna, but the perfect Acharya. Shukla Bhastre 
Masi bindu jai chenua lukai, sanyasira alpachidra sarva lokegai. As soon as the general public finds a little fault in the behavior of, sanya, of a sanyasi, they advertise it like wildfire. A black spot of ink cannot be hidden on a white cloth. It is always very prominent. Raya kohe kata papir korijacha abhyahati. Ishwara Sevaka Tomara Bhakta Gajapati Ramananda Roy replied, My dear Lord, you have delivered so many sinful people. This Maharaj Pratraparudra, the king of Orissa, is actually a, a servitor of the Lord and your devotee. Hmm. Prabhu Kohe Purnajaiche Dugdera Kalas Surabindu Pate Keho Nakore Parash Mahaprabhu then said, there may, there may be much milk in a big pot, but if it is contaminated by a drop of liquor, it is untouchable. Jajapi Pratraparudra Sarva Gunavan Tahare Malina Koila Ek Rajanam The king certainly possesses all good qualities, but simply by taking up the name king or Raj, he has infected everything. So... <laughs> Is <laughs> Mahaprabhu's way of talking and to even talking about this issue of the king. You know, eventually he'll, you know, the king will approach him during, during uh, Ratha Yadra. But the king will take not the dress of a king, but take the dress of a devotee, like, like here, like Giridhari with, you know, the court and. and Doti and present himself as a humble Vaishnava. Then Mahaprabhu later, but now, whenever the name king comes up, just he says, the king certainly possesses all good qualities, but simply by taking up the name king, he has infected everything. Tatapi Tomarajari Mahagrahahoi Tabe Ani Milahatumi Taharatanoi. But if you are still very eager for the king to meet with me, Please first bring his son to meet me. So, I won't meet with the king, but bring his son here. I'll meet with his son. Atma jai, atma vai. I mean, these things are, are they're serious, but they're presented in such a way that's very nice. Atma vai, jayate putra, a shastra bani, putrera milane, jaina, milibe, apani. It is indicated in the revealed scriptures that the son represents the father. Therefore, the son's meeting with me would be just as good as the king's meeting with me. This is Mahaprabhu saying this. Tabe Raja Jai Sabar Raj Rajare Rajare Kohila Prabhura Agyaya Tara Patraloya Aila. Ramananda Roy then went to inform the king about his talks with Mahaprabhu and following the Lord's orders brought the king's son to see him. Sundara Raja Putra Shamala Varan Kishor Bayasa Durga Kamala Nayan. The prince, just entering upon his youth, was very beautiful. He was blackish in complexion and had large lotus eyes. Pitambar Dori Ange Ratna Abaran Sri Krishna Smarane Teho Hoyla Udipan. The prince was dressed in yellow, yellow cloth, and there, and, and there were jeweled ornaments decorating his body. Therefore, anyone who saw him would remember Krishna. Because the king, you know, if you meet with Indians, generally all Indians think that their sons look like Krishna. That is the general opinion of most Indians. But in this case, Maharaj Pratra Purudra's son actually did look like Krishna. Tari Deki Ma Prabhu or Krishna Smriti Hoila Prima Veshe Tari Mili Kohide Lagila. Seeing the boy, Mahaprabhu immediately remembered Krishna. Meeting the boy in ecstatic love, the Lord began to speak. A Maha Bhagavat Jaharadarshane Brajendra Nandana Smriti Hoy Sarvajane. Here is a great devotee, Mahaprabhu said. Upon seeing him, any, everyone can remember Krishna, son of Maharaj Nanda. 
Kritarta hoilena ami, iharadarsane, eta boli, punatare, koila lingane. Ma Prabhu continued, and I have become very much obligated just by seeing this boy. After saying this, the Lord again embraced the prince. Prabhu Sparshe Raja Putra Hoila Prima Besh Sweda Kampa Ashu Stamba Pulaka Bishesh. As soon as the prince was touched by Ma Prabhu, symptoms of ecstatic love immediately manifested themselves in his body. These symptoms included perspiration, trembling, tears, being stunned, and jubilation. Krishna Krishna Kohenache Korai Korayav Randan Tara Bhagya Deki Shlaga Kori Bhaktagan. The boy began to cry and dance, and he chanted Krishna Krishna upon seeing his bodily symptoms and his chanting and dancing. All the devotees praised him for his great spiritual fortune. Tabima Prabhutari Darya Koraila Nitya Asi Amai Miliha E Agyadila. At that time, Mahaprabhu calmed the youth and ordered him to come there daily to meet him. Vidai Hoya Raya Aila Raja Putra Loya Raja Sukha Paila Putra Cheshta Dekia Ramananda Roy and the boy then departed from Mahaprabhu and Ramananda took his him back to the king's palace. The king was very happy when he heard of his son's activities. Putra Lingana Kori Prima Vishto Hoila Sakat Parasha Jena Mahaprabhu Rapaila, just by embracing his son, the king was filled with ecstatic love, <clears throat> just as if he had touched Mahaprabhu directly. Say Hoite Bhagavan Rajar Nandan Prabhu Bhaktagana Madhye Hoila Ikjan. From then on, the fortunate prince was one of the most intimate devotees of the Lord. He became, he became very advanced just by meeting with Mahaprabhu and being. The Lord embraced him, he became filled with Krishna Prem. Ematama Prabhu Bhaktagan Sange Nirantara Krita Kore Sankirtana Range. Thus Mahaprabhu acted in the society of his pure devotees, performing his pastimes and spreading the Sankirtan movement. Well, let's see when when we get to the uh, Okay. Uh, I'll just start this. Okay. Acharjade bhakti, acharjade bhakti kore, prabhore ni mantra, tahan tam bhikkha kore, loya bhakti god. Some of the prominent devotees, like Advaita Chari, used to invite Mahaprabhu to take his meals at their homes. The Lord accepted such invitations accompanied by his devotees. Emata nana range dina kata gela jaganata rata jatra nikata nikata hoila. In this way, the Lord passed some days in great jubilation. Then, then Ratha Yatra festival of Lord Jagannath approached. Pratame, when is the Ratha Yatra? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hmm. We should, we should stay till eleven just to hear this whole chapter. No, maybe we can't. But. Pratame Kashi Mishre Prabhu Bolaila Padicha Patra Sarva Bome Bolaya Anila Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu first of all called for Kashi Mishra, then for the superintendent of the temple, then for Sarva Bom Bhattacharya. You know, we are coming to the point of the actual Gundicha Marjan. So if you want it, we could read this during the evening. What do you think? Could we? Yeah, because then all the new, all the new people will be here. What is your name? Priya. Huh? Priya. Priya. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Halfway through the book. Yeah, you have the name Priya. Uh, any? That's good. Very good. Who's? Who are your parents? Are they devotees? What are their names? Uh, Renya and Chambala. Okay. What can you say that name again, Maharaj? I didn't. Renya. Renya. Ramya. Ramya. Mm -hmm. And Subala. And Shambala. Shambala. Okay. <laughs> okay. I used to know one. St one store in Berkeley called Shambhala. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, very good. And you live nearby? I actually live in Ashland now, Southern Oregon. In Ashland? Mm -hmm. You're visiting like this area. Oh, yeah. oh, my brother lives in Ashland. So you'll be attending this Bhakti Yoga retreat. Oh, very good. Oh, nice. I'm glad you came. And so your name is Priya. You're already halfway there. <laughs> okay. This last... We'll, We'll take this up tonight, but Pratame Kashi Mishre Prabhu Bolaila Padicha Patra Sarvabome Mulaya Anila. Ma Prabhu first of all called for Kashi Mishra and then for the superintendent of the temple, then for Sarvamom Bhattacharya. Tinjan Pashi Prabhu Hashiya Kohila Gundicha Mandir Marajan Seva Magin Nila when these three people came before the Lord. He begged them for permission to wash the temple known as Gundicha. Gundicha Mandir Marjan. Seva Magedila. Okay? Can we start from there tonight? Is it good? What time will that be in the evening? 8.30? Okay, so. A few songs. We can... We can sing a few songs, one or two songs, right? And we'll new, all the newly arrived persons, they can be here too? Or they will be going through? Uh, uh, okay, okay, however you wish to do it. Huh? Oh, mm, is it? Yeah, so tonight I also wanted to, well, maybe I'll have an optional reading in the afternoon of Gundicha Marjan. T tonight we'll celebrate Ma uh, the disappearance of Gadadhar Pandit and Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So there's a very nice description of that by Srila Guru Maharaj in Heart and Halo. The last part of the last chapter is describing uh, not only something of Bhakti Vinod Thakur's uh, great affinity and affection for Gadadhar Pandit and how much he identified with him and the worship. And Bhakti Vinod Thakur was worshiping Gaur Gadadhar. But also there is a description in the concluding words of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. And there's, it's very nice. It's a nice, nice part of the Guru Maharaj's description. Incredible. It's really, you know that, you know that, right? That It's incredible, actually, how, how Guru Maharaj, you know, How he, what is it? He describes how I, I, how I have known Gadadhar Pandit and also, what, what is his description? I have known Gadadhar Pandit and who, is, who else is he describing? That Swarup Damodar and uh, Do you know? Can you say? Yes, okay. That is what I'm going to do. Gadadhar Pandit. Oh, very nice. Who could want more than that description? It's like incredible description. I also feel, in a very kind of distant way, in my lifetime, I've had some glimpse of Gaur Nityananda. Uh, Nityananda Prabhu in the affection of Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami. And Guru Maharaj, something of how he has given us, and you know, some 
some view of the worship of Mahaprabhu. And this is kind of my own weird, strange way of seeing things, but I, I thought, and they, up, they appeared separated by a distance of 10 months. See the first Guru Maharaj, and then see the Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. They're 10 months separation. Guru Maharaj is appear, well, Swami Maharaj's appearance in the day after uh, Janmashtami, but that is in 1896. And Guru Maharaj's appearance in uh, Kartik, the ninth day of Kartik, the day of uh, the appearance of, of uh, Nityananda Prabhu's son, you know. So that's on, that's in Kartik of 1895. You see the Prabhupada's appearance in time, day after, and Nandotsov. Nandotsov. My mind goes blank at times. I'm just remembering, trying to remember the two names of Nityananda's son. Virabhadra and Virachandra. So, Guru Maharaj appearing there, even there there's some relation. And the Guru Maharaj said that, that he received inspiration to accept disciples when he when he went to the appearance place of Nityananda Prabhu, Virachandrapur, uh, Ikachakra, and he was praying for Nityananda's mercy. And Guru Maharaj described, I received some, uh, some, you know, revelation from Nityananda who said, you already have so much mercy, so much of a mercy, but you're not giving it to others. So after that, Guru Maharaj felt inspired to accept some disciples, to go a middle road, before he was not wanting to take any disciples. But, you know, so there is relationship between, and, and I also know, Guru Maharaj described the relationship of Prabhupada with Nityananda Prabhu, said it was, you know, and one time when I approached Prabhupada and I asked him, can I worship deities? Because devotees were worshiping deities, some of Gordi Thai, some of Nishingadev, and Prabhupada told me, you're a sannyasi, you don't need to worship deities. But if you like, he told me, you can, you can travel and you can keep with you a, a picture of Nityananda Prabhu or a Panchatattva, and you can offer some incense to them. That's what he told me. So, I think there was some definite inspiration from Nityananda Prabhu flowing there. <laughs> what is this? This is a, a Native American trick to keep flies away from you. If you have a plant on your head, they just, I don't know why, but they don't bother you. Well, there's another way. You can just take your... Well, you can just take your uttariya and put it over your head like that. That'll keep things, keep flies away. Now all you need to do is get a new taria, right? Yeah. Right? You'll have to get one, Mara. Yeah. All right. Hari Haraya Namah Krishna Jadavaya Namah Hare Namah Krishna
Gandharvika Giri Dari Juki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Bhad Banamansa Paramaja Kachari Asta Tata Sata Sishi Man Shila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Bhad Banamansa Paramaja Kachari Asta Tata Sata Sishi Man Shila Bhakti Rakak Shridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Shila Bhakti Sunanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Bhad Shila Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Bhad Shila Satchi Dhananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Bhad Vaishnava Sarva Om Shila Jagannath Das Baba Ji Maharaj Ki Jai Rupa Nuga Guru Bhargav Ki Jai Namachari Shila Haridas Sakur Ki Jai Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunath Shri Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunath Shad Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya uh, Sad Goswami Prabhu Premsi Go Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadanhar Shri Vasudhi Shri Gaurabhakta Vrinda Ki Jai mm. Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnupad Vishvavarena Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai, and, uh, Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Bhakti Nirmala Charya Maharaj Ki Jai, Ananta Koti Vaishnavrinda Ki Jai, uh, Sri Chaitanya Saraswati Ki Jai, Sokal Sri Chaitanya Saraswati Sevashram Ki Jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Govardhan, Sham Kuna Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Ju Ki Jai, Samaveda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Shri Harinam Sangritan Ki Jai, all the assembled devotees Ki Jai, Shri uh, Pad Bhakti Kamal Chagi Maharaj Ki Jai, uh, all the assembled devotees Ki Jai, Gaur Brahmanande Hari Hari Bhava.